Tons of gold crypto investing, and you can see here Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to get right on into this. I just got out of work, so I got a couple of free minutes here. You can see Bitcoin pumped up like we were talking about over the weekend when we were in this little mini rising channel at the bottom of this. It pumped up and actually breached the uh, descending triangle and then breached the orange and blue rings all the way up here to this 32,140, which is our regional high right now. And you can see what that ran up against was this major overhead resistance on the volume indicator in this local time frame. And then now it got into some sellers. Now you would expect it to maybe trade back down to 31,521, right? Which is back down by this blue ring. And that's where there should be some buyers. Where if you zoom in to the one minute time frame, you can see we sold off from that high, right? See that? You sold off from that high. And now you're coming to the moving average. So that 31,500 which is about the level you're sitting at now or where a buyer should be. And if you can breach this $32,000 level on another big pump, you can make another run all the way up here, right? Watch how this would line up. No, we don't need to look at that. We'll just go back to the volume indicator in the hour time frame. If you were to make another pump up, you're going to pump all the way up into here where the next row of sellers are 33960 right? So if you get another pump, if you get another pump, that's where I would look at for your next major upper resistance. If we had to mark that, we'll put a horizontal ray in here because this is what the volume indicator is showing us on the way up where you might see sellers at. And right now, from where you're going now, your first area of where sellers could be would be right here, right? This would be a great spot to mark out right there as a nice spot to where some sellers could be, right? And then your main area of sellers in this, you got another big one up there at about 36000 But if you break up above that 32140 34000 is your next major upper resistance. And that would be a nice pump and a continued pump of nearly 20% from its low. That would be another 5 6% if you can break above that. And then your underneath support is at 30, 29,666.22, right, which is the mid part of the volume mini indicator right there. And then your lower support is obviously your regional low that came down over the weekend at 28,269. So right now you're in between these two ranges. And if we zoom in to a local time frame, you can see we're consolidating now. And now we got to see if this is a consolidation for another leg up in the bull run as the futures market opens up in about an hour and 15 minutes, or is this, an, is this going to be the local top and we're going to get bearish as the, week, the weekly candle opens up? Well, we've been following this with the dollar, right? The dollar continues to fall, and you can see the dollar was falling pretty, pretty uh, hardly today. It's now trying to gather some support, right, after its low, uh, low today and a new, uh, uh, a new low on the move since we had that 105 top. And if this thing continues to break down to its next underneath support of 101, that leaves much more room for crypto in the stock market to have more of this, what, what I think is a bear market rally, right? But we'll see how high up this can pump, see if it can flip it from a bull market, a bear market rally into an actual bull market. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done there. And I'm highly suspect that that could take place. You can see Luna has pumped on uh, Luna 2.0, uh, People haven't got enough of that, getting fleece heisted and shisted, but it got up to $10.78. We'll keep an eye on that. If anyone's day trading that or swing trading it or minute trading it, be very cautious because I don't have, I think eventually that thing's going to come unglued regardless of what crypto market does the next year. I don't think Luna 2.0 is going to be, I mean, I wouldn't trust my money with the guy that declined that just uh, lost everyone their money on the uh, Luna Classic as it's known. Now, be very cautious with that. XRP's had a nice rally. We were talking about it's possible on a nice rally along with the rest of crypto. And you can see if we zoom out in the old XRP, we came up similar to what Bitcoin did, right? Almost the same thing Bitcoin did in formation. Came down to its swing low over the weekend. Never came down in double bottom like many of the other coins did Ethereum. And now it's broke over this major resistance. And if you can keep this pump up, and an up and down fashion, you could come up to that 48 cents. 
but it's going to be a volatile way up. You pump up four, five, six, seven, eight percent, then you dump back down real quick, right? So that's what we need to watch out for. And what I would watch out for locally on uh, XRP is when it comes back and back test this underneath uh, line, the red descending line, which is at about 40 cents. That's going to be, can you hold that? Because if you can hold that, you can continue to trade up in a nice uh, bull fashion. And if you break down, you're going to retest some of these regional lows, right? So that's what we're watching out for with the old XRP. Everyone's favorite. Everyone's favorite XRP, right? We got some of the things in the background kind of blurred out because it was getting kind of crowded for what we were talking about. But that's what we're looking at. You got your local support. You're coming up in the major overhead resistance that you've hit several times in the move like this. But we're going to see what happens as you got your upper resistance flirting up there, right, at about 46 to 48 cents. So we're going to keep an eye out on this is if you can stay above this red descending line and the 200-day moving average. Which I don't know where the 200-day moving average is. It seems to be hidden right now. Maybe I deleted some stuff on accident. I don't see my 200-day moving averages. Let's see if they're in the Bitcoin chart. Hmm, no, I don't know what happened. Some on my 200-day and uh, and my 50-day. Some of my some of some of my stuff got deleted. So when I park, we're gonna have to get some seconds here to fix that. We're gonna have to get that back in order. I'm not sure what happened there. But like, subscribe, and share. We got a lot of things going on. If we look at ADA, you can see we've had a nice pump in ADA today. I don't know what happened to my moving averages. I must have hit a button. Oops. See, we're hitting all kinds of buttons right now. But Cardano, it was very depressed. A lot of these were oversold, so we're waiting for a rally that we thought should come. And you can see Cardano has had a great pump. Congratulations to anybody that made some phenomenal profits there. You can see it's pumping up, coming up towards the bottom part of that last line, of, or yeah, but the bottom part of that shit house, or the last line of defense to the shit house in orange, and it's coming up to that 63 cents, and that would be your major upper resistance from your pump, and that's a phenomenal pump from where it started from. So to me, there's a high probability that it's going to try to get up there, right? Because it seems to be going all bull-legged right up into it. So that would be your major upper resistance, and that's still another. If this continues to the upside, that's still another 13% or so. So that's a phenomenal move, right? And that's your major drop of resistance. XLM has had another nice move too. The whole markets have moved together because that's what crypto seems to do. Just like the stock market or the gold market, they all move together. You can see XLM is at a phenomenal another leg up in this. It's coming up to upper resistance. But you could even make a run all the way back up to this blue ring at 20 cents, right? So there, there could be a lot of room to move here if the dollar continues to cooperate. These coins can continue to move up, like I've been telling you, and like uh, we've been warning, that if the dollar continues to consolidate, which I think is a bullish consolidation in the dollar, that could leave room for the stock market and crypto to run. And they've taken full advantage of that in the stock market last week. And now crypto over the weekend, and especially today, has taken full advantage of that brief room to run up. And we'll continue to monitor to see how much higher these can pump. Like, subscribe, and share pieces and love. A little more updates later on after the future's open.